Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk about the DoorDash Engineering Manager interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at, and a bunch of tips for each round. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by DoorDash Engineering Managers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates successfully and are available on the website for direct booking if you're looking for more personalised guidance. Okay then, moving on to the interview. The DoorDash Engineering Manager interview process is divided into three main stages. Telephonic interview, video call process, on site. Let's dive deeper into each round. So, starting with the telephonic interview. It's a non-technical process by a senior manager. I have two tips for you. Firstly, you will be asked some common behavioural and resume related questions such as tell me about yourself and why DoorDash. So prepare a crisp introduction of yourself and your professional journey. Make sure to include a nugget that helps you stand out and be memorable and have a clear reason for why you're applying at DoorDash as well as why you think you'd succeed there. Next, make sure to gather your thoughts about your previous work experiences and decide ahead which specific projects you will discuss. Focus on topics like what your contribution was, how things went and what you could have done better. Next up is the technical slash video call round with a HR or senior engineering manager. Three tips for this round. The interviewer wants to assess your proficiency in a coding programming language. Ensure you are comfortable with data structures like strings and arrays. Practice solving coding challenges that involve these data structures, especially focusing on handling edge cases. Also, practice problem solving related to real world scenarios that DoorDash might encounter. Next, familiarize yourself with DoorDash's existing application, plus other popular apps and the specific role you are interviewing for. Understand its architecture, features and how it operates. This knowledge will be valuable when you are asked to add or change features. Finally, can't stress this enough, practice a lot. We're a mock interviewers platform, so we have a bias on this, but honestly, this is not something you want to go unprepared into, since interviews have the habit of going down tangents you can't anticipate beforehand, and it's less the context, part of the practice, and more the mindset that practicing with coaches can help you get into. That is the most valuable part of working with a coach. Prepfully has excellent DoorDash engineering managers who provide one-to-one -one interview coaching. Book a slot with them from the link in the description box. Now, let's discuss the on-site interview. Broadly, this often virtual round encompasses two main interviews. One, people management interview. Here, the interviewer is trying to get an insight into your people leadership skills and cultural fit. You should expect both situational and experiential questions. So, how would you achieve X and how did you handle Y? You need to prep in a way that you demonstrate people leadership skills like hiring approach, development thinking and retention, management of higher versus low performers, creation of opportunities and growth driving capabilities. Think about how to effectively lead in a non-hierarchical team environment and what your personal leadership style and people management philosophy is. Two, next is the more technical system design interview. In this round, you're basically being evaluated for your ability to design a system which solves a specific problem, always eventually at scale. I have four tips specifically for this section. First, really make sure you're understanding the problem. I can't stress this enough. One of the most common mistakes which candidates make is to jump straight into solution mode. Make sure you clarify stuff, define a scope and articulate it. Explain what your goals are and how you're going to attack the problem. This also lets the interviewer drive you into the direction they want. Which brings me to my second point. Listen very carefully for feedback from your interviewer. 
they know the scope is infinite. They've got a list of themes they'd really like to cover in the interview, so they can assess you across a range of topics. You'll regularly get hints such as, all right, let's assume XYZ isn't a constraint. This is your cue to move on to the next theme, since they're not interested in whatever direction you are about to take. Or, for instance, you might be asked specifically, how about if this is going to be accessed multiple times daily by our global pool of users? This is then your cue to go down the tangent of how you might want to scale up your product geographically, maybe through CDNs, these are just examples. Which then brings me to my third point. You'll constantly be coming up with multiple ideas, or at least you should be. For these constraints you're presented with, that's a good thing. Make sure you succinctly mention them, explain the trade-offs, but then make a deliberate decision and pick one. As usual, practice here is key. Ask friends for help or go to a professional platform like Prepfully to get practice with any one of the DoorDash EMs who have been mentoring hundreds of candidates. Finally, there will also be times where you get stuck or don't know what the interviewer wants from you. And that's all right. It happens to everyone. The only right action here is to admit that you don't know. Offer to the interviewer if they want you to spend time exploring through guesswork, but don't try to bluff your way through. Right, that's all from us. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description. Don't forget to check them out. If you found the video useful, do like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.